Um, but listen, I can't understand how the law, the, the party of law and order and family values and all of that stuff has a first lady who is um, another raging psychopath, just like her husband. She couldn't put up with all that, grabbing women by the pussies and all the things that he self-admitted that he's done. He's a thief. He got You got E. Jean Carroll. You got the other lady, um, all this stuff. And y'all think that she's sticking by him and when every time she tries to hold his, he tries to hold her hand, she pulls away? What type of relationship is this? This is not a party. This is a cult. And y'all have to be able to recognize it. And the problem is a lot of us spend so much time in black churches. We have... A, a, We've lost the ability um, to understand. We, maybe we never knew. Or maybe we don't have the intelligence level to know what a cult really is. There's nothing. Ab anytime you got a, a, a people, a church, a party, you know, um, that's saying, that's just projecting. And they're preaching about no sex before marriage for all the virtuous girls and but he got the first lady in everybody else in the church pregnant and the the pastor reminds you of uh which way is up okay he didn't impregnate everybody in the damn church so he could spread his seed but yet he's standing up in the pulpit at the rostrum trying to tell people to be virtuous and when you follow somebody like that, that means you have been involved in a cult. See, that's what I had to realize. That, But my parents didn't know any better. I mean, because most of us know that we need discipline. And to have a, um, um, a religious discipline that maybe will lead you further to your open, you know, your understanding, it's okay. But see, it's up to you to keep relying on God so you won't fall into a cult. I mean, how can you have a man like this? And then y'all got the nerve to tell me he can run for president again? That's why you know it's bigger than Donald Trump. I don't even look at him like, I, I always say, who's the marionette? Who's the puppet master? And for all you ignorant uh, black people, who are going to the slaughter, and for y'all that are leading your people who know less because they haven't had civics in school and they don't know how this politic thing works and they just voting for personalities, when y'all march their ass to the slaughter and something crazy happens, you don't have nobody to blame but yourself. Okay? You don't have nobody to blame but yourself. Now, y'all rather just, you know, well, the Democratic Party ain't doing nothing for us. They ain't doing nothing for us. Well, they did something for the uh, um, Asian community, did something for the gay community, did something for the Japanese community. Did some, why? Why? Why haven't they did anything for And you going to try to convince me that it's all been them? And not our inability to be united on anything. I'm talking about in a large mass amount like we was in the civil rights era. You ain't going to tell me that. What happens is we done fell by the wayside. We done let the Democratic Party get away with a murder. Um, and we start chasing the bag and chasing personalities too. And this is why our ass is where we at right now. Okay? So with that being said... Now that you know who the puppet master, but I'll be damned if you're going to tell me that your vote don't count. I went to jail for registering people to vote. And the person that I registered to them to vote for, we used our whole backing. Guess what? The person won. Now, I'm not going to say that because of the, own, the person's own lack of discipline, his own uh, uh, disregard 
and respect for his marriage and his children and the people that supported him that he wanted to go rogue. But, of course, what's done in the dark come to the light. So when you end up getting other women pregnant and doing things like that, do you blame the system for that or do you blame the individual? I, that's why I'm so glad from what it looks like so far that Fani wasn't involved in those divorce papers at all. That's why I didn't come down on her too hard because I know we all human. But I was like, girl, if you get the biggest case of this of, of the a lifetime because ain't nobody got the balls to challenge Donald Trump except black people okay because see white people gonna let him do whatever the hell he want to do that's how they build and they keep making excuses oh well we you can see when they come on TV they sit up here and talk to this man like he got credibility and he's none, a, a convicted rapist See, I don't got time for this f foolishness, and y'all shouldn't have time for it either. That's the game that's played. And so you either have to get out the game. That's what I did. I was like, this is some bullshit. But every chance I get, I try to educate people to how this shit works. You can select who you want to elect. The thing about it is how far will y'all ride? Will y'all ride till the uh, wheels fall off? Like these Republicans, these MAGA people doing for Donald Trump? No, y'all ain't going to do no shit like that. You, we can't even stop shooting ourselves in the neighborhood. We can't stop blowing each other's brains out. So, you know, I mean, come on. Let's, let's just keep it real. So if y'all want to jump vote for Donald Trump, you cut it off your nose to spite your face. And I don't have anything to say to anybody that will vote for Donald Trump because I know they're a fool. They're a fool. And a fool and his money, well, what? And his common sense <laughs> has already parted. The fact that you morally would want to vote with somebody that brags about grabbing women by the pussies and uh, involved in rapes and stealing and hiding documents and uh, got a wife that won't hold his hand and all. The fact that you are turned on by that and you consider that leadership, let me know, further know, how damn crazy you are. I ain't never seen Khadija walk beside Farrakhan like that. I ain't never seen her out here on Fans Only or GQ Magazine whoring up and he uh, uh, he talking about, I'm talking about Farrakhan, I like to grab women by the pussies. <laughs> I mean, y'all don't even know what leadership looks like. And I'm not saying that you have to join one cult or another cult or whatever. All I'm saying is, you don't know what leadership, like you don't know what a moral, upright, upright leadership looks like because you don't know yourself. You know, when you was a child, you should have acted and played and did all the things that child do, but when you, a child does. But when you become an adult, you're supposed to put away childish things and you're supposed to get serious and you're supposed to be looking out and sweeping around the doors of your community and your house Y'all, we ain't doing that. And then we got the nerve to get mad like some little babies. Little babies. I ain't voting Democrat no more. I tell you what, if you get anything done, it's probably going to come through that party. And just like, like your man Biden said, uh, who's really messed up, that you got to uh, choose between two uh, senior damn citizens. I mean, for real, for real, extra senior citizens. To, to run America, and, you, and, and that's supposed to be powerful. What did Joe Biden say? He, his crazy self. What did he say? You ain't black if you don't vote for me. And then you got one that says, here's my African-American... Donald Trump allegedly, because I can't prove it, but I know what being around a drug culture looks like. And I'm telling you, he owned one. 
But if y'all found that out, he already pisses and shits on himself. And that ain't enough for y'all. Whew. Like I said, anybody leading you down that road to the slaughter don't mean you no good. And that's all I got to say about that. If you like what you hear, and so for the party of law and order, you are the party of mayhem, lies, infidels, riffraff, <laughs> and devils. Black devil or white devil, it don't matter to me. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share my channel. I'll see you in the next video.